God has really impacted my life here at camp and actually on Sunday I accepted that he died on the cross uh, to wash away my sins and give me eternal life and I am just really grateful for that. That you should put your uh, God before yourself and other people before yourself because if you put yourself before God you're saying you're better than anyone else, everyone else. He's taught me that you need to devote your whole life to Jesus instead of picking bits and parts of your life to devote to him and that you need to like just trust in Jesus with all your heart. God has taught me that even if I doubt him, he'll always forgive me and that these doubts are normal, even for someone at my age. Before I went to camp, I had a lot of doubt between me and God and I just like really prayed that like I would change and me and him have a better relationship now and I speak to him and I don't doubt him. If like you put music or bad stuff in your ears, it'll come into your heart and it came into me like that and I've been understanding it and I felt like he spoke through that verse to me at the campfire. Even though we make a bunch of mistakes and stuff, God will still accept us in his kingdom and I've learned like to let go of all the bad music and stuff and bad stuff I used to say that I used to do. I, I learned to let go of that after the campfire. I've I've been trying to be a new person. <laughs> to not doubt in him and just like be faithful. I'm, uh, I'm a strong guy and I pride myself too much on being strong um, to the point where I listen to the, what people have taught me and not what God's taught me of um, trusting and relying on my own strength for everything. Uh, if I was down or, or if I needed something or if I needed to get away from temptation, I relied on my own strength and I thought, if I can't do it on my own, that I'm too weak. I'm not worthy of being God's disciple. Um, but this week I've been kind of turned around, you know, uh, humbled even, because I realized it is not my strength um, that could ever get me out of this. Uh, I'm an incredibly weak person. And for the longest time I've been beating myself up for being weak when I realized it's okay, because I got somebody who's stronger. This week God has been teaching me that uh, we all have doubts and there's nothing that wrong with doubts but we don't want to stick them we don't want to keep them and we want to and as we know Peter didn't know Jesus but later on he fully knew who Jesus was so like we may say we know Jesus but we don't fully we might not fully know Jesus uh, and this week at camp, uh, I threw a stick in the fire last night to give Jesus my life. He's been teaching me how to get along with absolutely everyone, love everyone like unconditionally, to love him and put our trust into him 100%. Here at camp this week, God has been teaching me to give my life fully to him. I feel like my whole life, I felt like if I poured my whole being into school that I'll be good in college and I'll be good in the future and then I can make myself successful and happy. But I realized that God is going to use me to make my like to make others happy and myself happy and that through his will and what he decides to do with my life, that whatever he decides for me is going to be what's the happiest for me. And I've been just giving my life to him and willing to do whatever he wants me to do for my future. He's been teaching me to be kinder to people and not be as sarcastic and rude. Uh, yeah, yesterday, Wednesday, I threw my stick in the fire to strengthen my relationship and I felt like cold again. Um, recently, he's been teaching me to focus on him more than the things and all the distractions I have in my home, such as electronics, um, social media, video games, all that stuff distracts me. I spend like way more hours on that stuff than any of God's word. And hopefully by the time I get home, I'll spend so much time in God's word instead of all those distractions. Yes, the distractions are okay, but it gets a little bit too like wrong when you're doing it way too much. And we need to stay in God's word a lot more. Well, God has teach people a lot of things, but number one, the number one thing that I've known is that God is real and Jesus came down from, from the heavens and became a human and lived a life with no sin to erase all of our sins. Now that I believe in Jesus, now I am a child of God and I do believe in Jesus.